Bullman XRC. I recently came across this brand of RC products on Amazon and found their line of ready-to-fly RC airplane really interesting. So I thought I'd make a compilation of some of their most interesting offerings and provide you all with some, hopefully, enlightening commentary. I've put together a showreel of sorts using their own videos. I've rearranged some of the footage a bit so that you see the planes flying first before the explanation. Just to keep things interesting. Because you know airplanes do look much more interesting when they're actually flying. So without any further ado, let's get started. This first one is the Mustang P51D. I have to tell you this is my most favorite of all which is why I put it first. These World War II airplanes design really translate well to radio controlled airplanes. I mean they are great as airplanes too. But when they become model airplanes they fly really really well. Nimble. Agile. And fast. I don't know if this is suitable for actual beginners or not, but they claim that it is. Personally if you're a complete beginner I would recommend something of a trainer airplane. You know the ones with wings on top. So this one key return activation function. I think it just turns the plane back in the general direction back to you. Don't expect like a fly back to where you started function that you get in much more expensive drones. I like that they have these electronic trimming functions. They will come in really handy. I don't think arm your plane here means life bullet rounds. But you never know. 400 millimeters is 40 centimeters so that's like your standard ruler plus 10 more centimeters. Or almost 4 inches. I see the landing gear still extended here. Then it disappears. Not sure how that works. They don't seem to explain it. I guess you just manually remove it. So it does have some gyro assisted stabilizers. In my experience they do help and make flying much easier. This one key aerobatics will sure impress your friends. As long as you don't tell them the secret that is. Wow I thought it was going to land without landing gears there. It's like the airplane suddenly remembers that it has no wheels. Oh look it is so easy to fly even kids this little can fly it. Wait a minute. They're just running after it. No landing gears here. Who needs them anyway? This one has also got a turn back function. They call it U-turn activation this time. Trimming functions. So that you can make trees look better. Oh wait, not that kind of trimming. And once again you can arm your airplane. What a dramatic choice of word there. The same stabilizer is at work here. If the video is to be believed, it works pretty well. Same size as the P-51. It really is a good size. This is a really good point. You don't really want to assemble anything with these airplanes. The Mustang didn't mention this point. So you might want to check whether assembly is required there if you're actually looking to get it. Now let's just see it soar. If you put some sort of action camera on the plane you will get this sort of footage. Impressive. Actually I didn't realize it can actually carry the weight of a camera. A little surprising to be honest. Quite acrobatic for a trainer. Optional floats. That's a nifty trick. 
Landing on water is great fun. As long as it doesn't sink. I don't know why they don't actually show an actual water landing. So maybe it did sink. I don't know. Once again the gyro function. This company loves their gyro stabilizers. That's for sure. This video doesn't have any feature explanation on ground like the previous two. So either they just got lazy or it just doesn't have as many features. Let's hope it's the former. So this one is a true trainer plane. At least that's how it looks. Unless it's got some secret jet engine, this one is your trainer true and true. I'm pretty sure they meant landing gear here. So a D instead of a G. Let's pretend no one saw that. We will have to take their word for it that the engine is powerful. No mentions of gyro stabilizers here. So you can do loops. I wonder if that's the same gyro system as the earlier videos. I'm guessing it is. And let me just say, taking this video is actually hard. It's awesome that they pulled it off. They're probably filming this with another airplane or drone or something. I mean the footage didn't turn out all that well and the airplane isn't even centered but I know how hard it is. So kudos to them for even getting anything at all. And here's a few more. This is the F4U Corsair. Pretty much the same specs as the P51 Mustang. It sure looks great. Then there's the T-28 Trojan. Pretty much the same specs as the P-51 Mustang and the F-4U Corsair. Once again, it sure looks amazing. Here's a thought, why not buy all three warplanes? The Mustang, Corsair, and the Trojan and complete the collection. So there you have it. If you enjoyed the video please subscribe to our channel. Product links are in the description below.